Luna needs to start. Él debería ser el arquero titular del Real Madrid. He can do everything better than Kepa. I think that the reason why he doesn't play is because he's not Spanish. If Lunin was Spanish, I don't think we would have gotten Kepa. I think he would play. Ancelotti's a dick for that. I've been trying to call. I've been on my own for long enough. Remins, estamos aquí con... José Vargas. Edwin Baloyes. Remins, we're here with your boy Saki. Remins, we're here with your boy Mr. Ancelotti. Out. ¿Qué les parece el estadio? Aunque le falta, es algo jamás visto. Fiorentino se fajó con la inversión de este estadio. Está brutal. Otro nivel. Sí, el estadio uno de los mejores de Europa, con una tecnología bastante grande, amplia, y le falta un poco por terminarlo, pero ya va a quedar uno de los mejores de Europa. What do you think of the game, bro? I thought it was decent. I mean, when Lucas Vázquez gave away that penalty, I was getting ready to get up and leave. <laughs> Lucas Vasquez, I think, had probably the worst game I've ever seen him play in a Madrid shirt. Yeah. But besides that, look, a 3-0 win at home in the Champions League. Can't complain, right? It's a fantastic game. The chemistry was a high level. Ancelotti did well with Ibrahim to start with Ibrahim. And I hope Ancelotti going to start the same lineup next mm -hmm. match. Rodrigo, right winger. Vinicius, left winger. For Valencia, 4-5-0. Yeah. Not the last match uh, in Mestalla. They were so rude with Vinicius. Alfred, he going to score a lot of goals versus yeah. them. The partido in general, como siempre, el Real Madrid, sabemos que es el mejor equipo del mundo y el día de hoy no fue la excepción jugó bastante bien toda una alegría impresionante que se ven que son los mejores jugadores del mundo por más de que al principio obviamente arrancaron aguantándolos un poco ya se notó en el segundo tiempo la jerarquía que tiene un equipo como lo es el Real Madrid jugadores como Tony Cross Modric Vinicius y aunque Bellingham no jugó Camavinga se jugó un excelente partido y también lo puede hacer muy bien Nico Paz Lunin está sí. excelente tenemos muy muy buenos jugadores y estamos para ganar esta Champions también ¿Qué about Brahim? Brahim bro he deserved to get the chance more than Rodrigo next match every game that he started he scored it yeah he's scoring and he's a good dribbler he can do everything you need every time Raheem starts he scores and every time he comes off the bench he plays really well you rather play Raheem instead of Rodrigo yeah I think he deserves it Rodrigo scored today but it, it took him 13 games how many chances is he gonna get Raheem plays like 20 minutes a game and still balls out every time Rodrigo I know he scored today and I'm happy for him I still don't think he deserves to start but For his goal, I don't really think he did anything crazy. And I think that Brahim or Joselu should play in his place. You've been very critical of Rodrigo. Do you don't think that this is like a step in the right direction for him? Oh, hopefully I want it to be. But at the end of the day, him and Vinicius aren't playing in their positions anyways. So it's going to be hard for them to play well consistently in positions that they're not used to playing in. If it were up to me, I'd play a 4-3-3 instead of this 4-4-2 diamond. ¿Qué les pareció de Rodrigo hoy? Hoy tuvo un muy buen partido. Hoy estuvo habilidoso. Un golazo que metió ahí. O sea, se le dio un partido de 10 puntos. Jugadores como Rodrigo que nos han dado tanto, nunca hay que ponerlos en duda. Un jugador nunca va a estar en su prime siempre. Hay altibajos, pero hoy lo ven, ¿no? Es un jugador excelente y ante toda la definición, que era lo que esta temporada de pronto le ha estado faltando un poco, se nota con la definición que hizo hoy, que es un crack. He was right winger this match, but he was striker with Vinicius de Bellingham. It's not his position, you know, so he can't do well. The other person I want to talk to you about is Vinicius, because last time when I was here, fans were not happy with Vinicius. I think today he did a lot better. Look, He's good, but he have to play like left winger, Rodrigo right winger, then a striker. Like 4-3-3. Better for Real Madrid always. Look, Vinicius was better today, but what he needs to do is just keep focused on his football. Stop letting all the other bullshit get in the way. He lets all the outside noise get into his head, and then he starts arguing, and that affects the way that he plays. If he focuses on his football, he can be top three player in the world. Bueno, a veces tiene sus tiempos de calentura, que juega bien, juega mal, pero es el, los altibajos, los altibajos que tiene todos los jugadores. La personalidad de él claramente molesta mucho a los rivales. Yo digo, menos mal está en el Real Madrid, porque sí, sí. claramente si lo tuviéramos en contra, sería un jugador que cualquier equipo va a odiar. Pero como lo dice Araujo, que es un rival directo, en el uno contra uno es el mejor. Tal vez sí le tienen que hablar un poco porque habla mucho, pero siento que hace parte de su personalidad. Hay que hablar de Lunin. Es un tema complicado. A mí me parece que Lunin tiene que ser titular. Es un muy buen jugador. Poco a poco se va ganando la titularidad. Él va a tener la oportunidad en su debido momento. Para mí, él debería ser el arquero titular titular del Real Madrid, es un arquero que ha estado de la mano de Courtois, ha estado en todo el proceso del Real Madrid, está bien que trajeran a Kepa porque hay que tener un arquero suplente, pero es un arquero con jerarquía tiene muy buen pase corto, buen pase largo, tapó un penalti y la última jugada del partido, bien, mano cambiada es un excelente portero, para mí debería ser el titular, pero 
técnicos. No somos los técnicos. Thank God Lunin started. Obviously, I don't like to wish injury upon anyone. I know Kepa's injured, but Lunin needs to start every game from now until Courtois gets back. Every single game. For me, Lunin, he was man of the match. He deserved more to play, more chance next match, maybe. But do you think he'll play over Kepa? Because I think that the reason why he doesn't play is because he's not Spanish. If Lunin was Spanish, I don't think we would have gotten Kepa. I think he would play. I don't think so, because Ancelotti is Italian, so... Yeah, I'll but play. I think it's I think it's more the media pressure. I think it's more the fact that Real Madrid is a Spanish club. They want to bring in Spanish players. What do you think? No, I don't agree with that. If he's better than Kepa, he should play. Today, he definitely showed not just the saves, because he made amazing saves. Obviously, he saved the penalty. But with his feet, I felt a lot more confident with him. With Kepa, everything is a little nerve-wracking. Sure, sure, sure. Kepa is always nervous. He can't control the ball. But with Lunin, he's confident. He can do everything better than Kepa. Arda Guller. Arda Guller didn't get to play today. How do you feel about that? I'm very sad. Ancelotti's a dick for that. I guess against Valencia, we'll see if he plays. But if he waits till after the international break, I'll be so sad. I want to see him play so much. He cooks everyone in training. I said